Welcome to the chapter Tick Tock Goes the Clock. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Analyze the time in minutes and hours Understand the minutes hand and the hours hand Observe the calendar and learn about leap year, months and days. Let us see the introduction. Time is the most important aspect in day-to-day -day life. We look at the time and calculate how much time is required for a particular task. Here are some of the daily activities which require different amounts of time like minutes, hours, days and months. We take a few minutes for brushing teeth or breakfast or lunch and also we take a few hours to spend in school. A few months of time is taken by a tree to grow. Now, we do an activity on various activities. Choose the suitable answers and tick it. Let us observe the conversation between Ram and Sita. They are discussing whose home is farther from school. Hi Sita. Hi Ram. At what time will you start for school? I start for school at 7 o'clock in the morning. What about you? I too started for school at 7 o'clock. Nice. Then, how much far is your house from school? I have to walk for 5 minutes to reach school. I just walk for 2 minutes to reach school. Impossible. Your home is farther from school. But, I checked my watch. I started for school at 7 o'clock. When I reach school, the minute hand pointed at 2. So, shouldn't it be 2 minutes past 7 or 7 2? No, Sita. You are wrong. You reached school at 7 10. How? Can you see these thin lines between the numbers? Yes. There are 4 lines in between each of the numbers. Each line represents a minute and hence, if the minute hand moves from 12 to 2, it took 10 minutes. So, it is 10 minutes past 7 or 7.10. Oh Ram, you have taught me how to see the time. Thank you so much. Okay, then at what time did you reach the school? I reached school at 7.05. See? The minute's hand moves across 5 lines. So, 5 past 7 or 7 5. Okay. Thank you, Ram. Bye. Okay. Bye. Now, we learn about time and clock. Let us observe the clock. We can see a short hand and a long hand. The short hand indicates the hours and the long hand indicates the minutes. See the time in the clock? The longer hand is at 1. This shows that 5 minutes have passed. Likewise, if the longer hand is at 2, then 10 minutes have passed. In the same manner, when the longer hand is at 5, 
then 25 minutes have passed and so on up to 12. Hence, if the longer hand is at 12, that is, if it completes one full rotation, then 60 minutes have passed and this makes an hour. Therefore, in an hour, we have 60 minutes. Let us solve some exercise problems. Observe the clock and solve the given problems. Here, we are going to do an activity on time. Choose the appropriate answers by seeing the time. Now, we perform an activity on clock. Click on the appropriate time by seeing the clock. Now, we perform an activity on clock. Click on the appropriate time by seeing the clock. Have a glance at the calendar. Children, we are going to learn about the months in a year. January December January February March April May June, July, August, September, October, November, December. In this calendar, we have 12 months and 365 days. Observe that some months have 30 days and some have 31 days. But in the month of February, we have only 28 days. Sometimes we have 29 days in a month of February. That year is called a leap year. In a leap year, we have 366 days. For example, 2016 is a leap year. Leap year comes after every four years. Here is the list of government holidays in 2016. Let us solve some exercise problems. Write the appropriate answers for various questions about the 2016 calendar. Practice zone. Try to solve the questions on your own in the practice zone. Click solution button to verify your answers. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. There will be a short hand and a long hand in the clock where the short hand indicates the hours and the long hand indicates the minutes. 60 minutes make an hour. In a calendar, 
we have 12 months and 365 days. In that some months have 30 days and some have 31 days. But in the month of February, we have only 28 days. If the year is a leap year, then we have 29 days in the month of February. Leap year comes after every four years. Follow-up work. At what time do the minute and the hour hand coincide with each other between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock? How many days are there in the month of February? Is this a leap year or not? Observe the calendar from 2010 to 2016. Make a calendar for next year. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Tick Tock Goes the Clock.